These two words, efficiency and effectiveness, are interesting. What's the difference between these two words? Can you be efficient and not be effective? What is efficient? Doing things quickly. Doing things quickly? And, and what is effective? Having the results. 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 results? Yeah, yeah. See, now based on this, I could say that sometimes, if, if we're getting the right balance here, I mean, if we only work on efficiency, let's get it done faster, let's get it done faster, I think sometimes you'd be better off saying, I'm not going to do it at all. Because no matter how much time I'm putting into this, that time could be better spent doing this over here. This is about results. Effectiveness is about results. And sometimes, uh, you, you know, things change in organizations. Has this organization changed in the last few years? Your companies acquired, throwing companies together. Now, now on the one hand, you throw three companies together, and, and there's a great potential because you've got a lot of smart people with a lot, a lot of great ideas. But on the other hand, sometimes it's a little bit chaotic. And you would hope to be able to, to really pull things together in a way that gives you that cliche word synergy that, that we value so highly. But it doesn't always happen that way. If, for example, you have a process. And the process was started at a point in time for a reason, and now time goes on, and we're still doing the process. And some new person comes in, maybe through an acquisition, they say, why do we do it this way? And somebody says, well, I don't know, we've always done it that way, or whatever. And, and, and maybe we should just stop this activity altogether and change the way we're looking at things and do things different. I mean, look at email. Oh, I go back a long time. I'm probably the oldest guy in the room here. I started in the software business in 1976, before a lot of you were born. It was a long time, it was a different world back then. I mean, and, and software business changes rapidly. When I started, we, 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 were set, we were developing one of the first display-based word processing systems in 1976. And, and this was when people didn't know what the term word processing meant because in business they were using IBM Selector typewriters. What a world that was. Email, are you kidding me? People were typing. They, they, people would go to clerical school, learn how to type a business letter, and they had letterhead, and they'd type on these things and put it in an envelope and seal it and send it out. 1979, I started a, um, a uh, project, an email project. We were developing a suite, of, a productivity suite of software that is similar to the elements that Outlook has today. And this was in 1979. This was before the IBM PC and before MS-DOS. And, and we're looking at, well, how would we design something like this? And we're thinking, OK, so people have an inbox on their desk. And we said, well, we're going to make an electronic inbox. And we're thinking, how, how do we help somebody to, to, to be able to be more efficient, more effective with a tool? And I remember the very first iteration of this thing, it was very powerful, but it was so complicated that human, human beings couldn't use it. <laughs> And we had all these features in there, so then we had to work on dummying it down a little bit and making the user interface a lot better. And, and, and you know, things are changing. Things continue to change. Now here we are in 2012, and everybody uses email, and everybody uses productivity tools. But we still have to look at this. We've got to get this balance between efficiency and effectiveness. And, we, and sometimes we have to say, wow, we have a limited amount of time. If you had $100,000 and you wanted to invest it today, there's a thing called opportunity cost. If you take that money and put it in a passbook savings account, it's kind of stupid because you're not going to get much return on your investment, but you've locked up all your money. Or if you buy a, 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 a CD, certificate of deposit, and you lock your money in for two years. So good investors understand that, and they're thinking about, OK, how do I diversify my portfolio? And how do I figure out how to optimize it? I've got to maximize the return on investment. That's what, we tr that's what productivity is all about. How do we maximize the return on the investment? And, and Stephen Covey in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People said, efficiency is climbing the ladder of success as fast as you can, but effectiveness is making sure you lean the ladder against the right wall before you climb it. And so what I'm saying here is that we don't want to get so myopic in trying to be efficient that we don't step back and look at how we're doing things and make sure we're being effective in what we're doing. And everybody here is smart, and everybody here has eyes, and sometimes you work for a company and you see stupid things going on. And then you go tell somebody, you say, this is really stupid, and they say, shut up and go back to work. And they say, well, I'm not going to share any ideas again. 
And my advice to everybody here is if, if we want to make the company more productive, learn to be effective salespeople so that if you have a good idea, you share it and get some ideas about how we could really make this thing work and when you present it, do it right. <laughs> And let's be a part of change, positive change, so that we're not sitting in cubicles saying, this is really stupid what we're doing, but I guess it's what I have to do. This company should not end up that way. So again, I want to say that at the beginning, because that is so important in productivity and time management that everybody is thinking and looking and, and awake and aware. A lot of times, the people at the top of an organization are further away from what's happening. And if they're making all the decisions, they may not have all the facts that they need. You, you guys are seeing what's going on every day. And if processes aren't working, it's really important to reevaluate those processes and make sure that they do work.